Greetings from Kyoto! Hello! We are approaching Nishiki Market and as you can see it's a rainy day. Are you hungry? I'm ready. Yes. <laughs> wow, it's quite long. That's the other side. Wherever you look, there's something to munch on. My appetite grows exponentially. We are walking east. Whoa, it's candy! But Lego pop! Mommy and I are thinking these could make great souvenirs. Look at those are dolls. So this market gets cut by vehicular traffic? <laughs> Street food. Nearby, a crew of carp is recoated with sauce, making them shine shamelessly. Fresh produce over here, curry crooked over there. Aha! A pile of scallop strings broiled in soy sauce. Oh, look at those veggies cutely lined up. The radishes appear to have a turban on their head. Wowza, this may be the fanciest sampling station I've ever seen. <whistles> Check out these colors and textures. Scrumptious. Ooh, I'm digging the color gradient. The east end of Nishiki Market leads to a small Shinto shrine called Nishiki Tenmango. Its entrance neighbors a shopping district connected to the market we just walked through. This plastic display doesn't look half bad. In fact, it makes me hungry. Psycho bunny. Psycho bunny. Ah, a familiar face, Patagonia. Pop 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 poker face. We return to the market section and head to the west end. Octopus and quail egg. Quail egg is on the top of the octopus to make it look like the head. Here we have a souvenir shop. We also have a couple restaurants lined along the way. my first time coming across Sparrow. We have frog legs. I think I want to try the Sparrow. Each skewer costs 450 yen, about $4 US. Mom, you, you no, want to try some? No, no, I don't. Uh, <laughs> this might have a similar texture as uh, Balu. It takes quite a bit of work to chew on. Senior citizens, take caution. It's crunchy because the bones. Calcium. Yeah. Positive way to think it is lots of calcium. Is it sweet? Is it sweet? Is it sweet? You wanna try? Nah. <laughs> it is sweet. Oh my god, there's a rib cage in there. Yeah, it has everything. It's saltier than sweet. What is that round thing in the middle? Is it a head? I think so. The white round thing? It's probably not something I will crave. I've had a harder time eating balu though. This is making me thirsty. It's quite sauced up. Some parts of it is quite translucent. Uh, so I'm curious about this white egg looking part. I think that's the head. It's crunchy, but it's not like a crisp crunch. Because some crunches, you bite into it once and it's done, but this one you just kind of have to keep chewing on it. Think of it as like a crunchy beef jerky, but a beef jerky that's not too tough. I can try this. <laughs> Sweet potato with black sesame seeds. Black soybean tea. Black soybean Hi. tea. Usually when you get samples, they give it to you in a throwaway cup. Here they give it to you in an actual bowl. You know, this is so unique. In Korea, we have roasted barley tea and roasted corn tea. But this one is a soybean tea. Yes. So it's different. Yeah. It's a little bit of an acquired taste. The ending is on the verge of being bitter. Chestnut! Always a pleasure to see you. Why wow, it's good. It's a way cooked tea. Mm. All those look like they're wearing jackets and up here. Uni in the shell, mountains of dried fish, and skewered octopus in an organized tangle. Skewered salmon, 500 yen. Just admire this gorgeous piece of salmon. Smell fresh. Watch out, there's a bone in there. Use it as a toothpick later. Go ahead, call me Spider Woman. Salty and fresh. It's got the SNF. I really like some rice with that. Or quinoa. I prefer quinoa. Since we ate something salty, I am craving something sweet. Alright, I think we are at the intersection we first began. Anybody else craving the sauna? Oof, this steam is irresistible. Green pea crackers. Looks super cool, but my trypophobia is kicking in. I still want to try it. So much crunch. 
That's a good cracker to eat to balance out that salty salmon. It tastes like a grain. This texture reminds me of oil paintings. Holy wow! Those crunchy spheres look so cutely lined up on that skewer. This is a walnut mochi. Oishi! Oishi? Oishi! Oishi! Ah, arigato! Okay, I love nuts. Walnuts are pretty good. Oh, the outside look tough. Very soft. Grilled mugwort mochi filled with sweet red bean cake. Next up, we try dango. Sweet dumplings that are cousin to mochi. Minna, here I think a child and dog. You see a child and a dog? Yeah, this is a dog. I see a squirrel eating an almond. I see you in there, mom. Yes, can you find me? <laughs> <laughs> Happy mommy O. Sweet and soft. <laughs> you didn't need to say anything. We could tell from your facial expression. Sweet and tasty and soft. <laughs> <laughs> it looks so beautiful. We have some bubbles on there. This is eel bone. Very crunch. Is it salty? A little bit. Fish. Let's just try a small one. When your mouth is a little lonely and you're craving a little snack, it's a good thing to have. A bit on the savory side. Jingu stuff, bean curd, sushi assorted. Mmm. This reminds me of yugo chobab. Mmm. Abragi. Abracadabra. Abracadabra ghee. Abracadabra Ooh, that's quite sweet. Now I'm craving something salty. Look at the tower of fried chicken. Snoopy themed mochi. Pickled radishes. We meet again. Something about you I find charming and funny. If you walk down this mini alley, there is a kimono shop where you could rent and walk around. Oh, look at how that's wrapped, all that seaweed. Do you see what I see? It's porcupine bread. <laughs> Actually, it might be a hedgehog. We just adopted a new pet. What should we name him? Pokyu. Pokyu? Pokyu. Oh, look at him. Ah, I don't think I can eat him now. It is hard to carry. I will carry it in my stomach. <laughs> oh, let's take a look at the inside. Is there multiple layers in there? It looks like we have a skin and then some white layer and then something else in there. Let's see the face. Ooh, when I was biting into that, I felt some oil ooze out of it. It tastes like a fried donut on the outside. It's better than fried donut. You said it tastes like a custard on the inside? Yeah. 120 yen, very well spent. Last bite! Rolled omelette burger. Rolled omelette bacon burger. Mommy O wants to try squid. Here we have this lively. Ooh, it's cold because of the weather. Ooh. Uh, mom? Couldn't get it back on the stick. I don't want the whole thing. <laughs> One hand for vlogging, the other for eating. I need a third hand. No, I don't want the whole thing. <laughs> Soft, not too rubbery. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, slurp, slurp it up like noodles. Healthy ice cream. What is this? Is there a peanut in that? This is a cinnamon matcha. Mmm, there is peanut in that. Hai tipita. Nice flavor contrast to everything else we ate today. We've reached the West End and make a U-turn. Feeling chilly? Not to worry. The sake sampling station is waiting for you. Hey. I'm drunk. I'm just kidding. That was not much sake, but I'm feeling it in my throat. It's getting warm. We're back at the shop where we had dango. 
This time we get a bite of grilled mulgur mochi. Oh, look at that! Once it's placed on the grill, the mochi starts puffing up like a balloon and the cracks widen. Oh, wow. It's breathing. Does it feel hot? Yeah, it's a hot. Not too bad. Ooh, definitely. I smell some carcinogen. It looks beautiful. You see, it looks dry on the outside, dry and powdery, and the inside looks wet. It's not wet, it just looks shiny. Tastes like a smile. Mmm, <laughs> mm, inside has red bean. It tastes a bit earthy. I think uh, adults will prefer this more than children. Look at this candy! Bento box! They almost look like light bulbs. We have a mission. Remember those candied sweet potatoes? We're gonna get those. Here we are! Oh, it looks like some bubbles have been crystallized. Nana have to end guys. I already knew I like it because it's sweet potato by default. <laughs> Corners of the sweet potato are a little bit on the hard side. Overall, the sweet potato is not too sweet, but it's only sweet because of the sugar they put on the outside. Thanks for having us, Nishiki Market. See ya when I see ya. What was your favorite thing you ate today? How about you? I can't remember what we ate. There's a lot of things we ate. Barbecue and mochi is the best. Barbecue mochi. Yeah. The most memorable is the sparrow. What made you drool the most? See you in the next video. Bye bye. If you haven't already, subscribe and hit that notification bell. For more fresh pixels, check out my other channel, Sweet and Tasty TV, for food and travel in Korea. <laughs> this looks like a ping pong racket, but maybe it's something for the kitchen. The texture on this cup puts me in a trance. We come across another intersection. Oh, look at the ceiling. It is Christmas colors. Oh, we just got a sample of seaweed and sesame seeds. This turns into this. Take a look at that stuffy window. That kind of looks like the shape of a heart. 